Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and the same viewer that sent me the tip the other day about using the gradient tool uh, also suggested this and you just go to your object properties and open up your fill tool and go to fountain fill and just take and make it black on one side then you can still adjust your depth but then you can double click on this bar making a new color and you could put well you have to actually go from here and make it white and we'll make this one black and I think from there you actually can just drag it over and my fountain fill is kind of in the way but then you can double click again and make this one a different shade of gray maybe even double click it again and make that one white So you're going from black to white, back to black, and you could do several colors. Um, trying to zoom in here where I can get it all. And you can always, you know, you could add, you could slide this one over. You could double click again, put another black one in the middle. Well, I messed up there. And you could just keep going. You can move these around. You can actually double click right there. We're not going to use black or green, but you can see I'm actually got CMYK. I need RGB. And you can make it 80% black. So you could do a lot of different things. And then when you click off of it, and then I would always left click no fill and that actually gives it a look that looks like there's three columns now i don't really know uh, being a laser engraver this would work on maybe a 3d effect and i think i've actually used this before in 3d but it's pretty cool and you could still angle these around well the, the handle is way up here you can actually angle them around and get different effects. So that's a pretty cool look. Anyway, I'll thank that viewer for reminding me of that and hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.